sound. What what influenced the sound? Um, I think for him, in the past, his past two albums were like real live band kind of oriented. This one is a little more, um, just, I don't want to say current, but it's just dope, man. It's like next level kind of, um, real vibey, uh, mood music, you know, so, um, you know, you have records that like really, really knock, but then, then you got some up-tempo like kind of club records, but it's, it still always has this like, it's like, I don't know, it's like a cool little take on, on, on those genres and EDM and all that stuff. I listened to, once I got, so I got the, I got the first bit of tracks from Needles and then, then I got the second batch of, of music out from LA and then I got a listening list. I asked like, okay, well, who am I listening to? What am I going for? And so I got Justice, I got yeah. um, um, Night Call, I got uh, Beach House, Beach House, and uh, there's another there's another group. Uh, uh, du- a, 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 what is it? Eighty something? Eighty. Cocaine. M80, Cocaine. M80, oh, oh, M83. Yeah, M83. 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 And uh, and so I started listening to these records and, and listening to the space in between. Like everything doesn't have to have a vocal on it just because I'm a vocalist. Okay. I listen to the space in between records. It was I, that's why it took two years to get it done because I did a lot of learning for the first time in a long time because I'm used to doing stuff. You know, me being at the head of everything. Um, I actually listened to. Yeah. <laughs> I actually listened to him yeah. and listened to Tim and listened to music and learn and study what works for me and um, and where I needed to go. So those were some of the influences.